Good day everyone. I am Larry Aila of the Art and Proud African LGBTI YouTube channel. This afternoon I have a guest. As you are aware, we've got followers, subscribers, admirers all over the world. United Kingdom, Europe, Africa. Lawrence lives in Netherlands. I will ask him to introduce himself to you all. Come along with me. Hello Lawrence. Welcome to the program. Can you please introduce yourself to our viewers? My name is Lawrence Mkenya, a gay man from Uganda. And currently living here in Netherlands in a city called Here. Thank you for your introduction, Lawrence. How is the Netherlands? How did you end up in the Netherlands? And for the benefit of our viewers please talk us through your journey from uganda to the netherlands hi Lani. yeah they say that uh, east or west home is the best uh, but i personally i loved my country uh, and please don't get me wrong i still love my country however much my country became here on earth and however much I try to hide my sexuality and be dead to myself, but I reached the extent where I could no longer do it. Uh, my sexuality became an open book. Uh, I tried to hide my sexuality, but one of the most difficult things in life is to hide who you are. Uh, after my sexuality, became an open book uh, i became an object not a human being where all where someone that i had upset with or disagree with used my sexuality as as a scapegoat to harm to harm or persecute me uh, both friends and family members uh, rejected me and my father didn't want and don't and even now don't want to associate with me i can understand the shame the shame of the lgbti people it doesn't stop from themselves but even family members the people that you are close to that was some story and that was very hard to stomach now you are in the Netherlands how is life treating you how open have you been um, in Netherlands I am me I am proud to be myself I am open um, although there are some seeds of homophobia in my Ugandan community uh, but at least it's not direct to you uh, uh, people may talk heal about you uh, but at least I'm not scared that somebody could come from my back and punch me or spelt on me or bump into a police office and then ask for my phone and run through to see where there is to see whether there is uh, sexually seen sexual explicit images to use to use them and exact money from me um, and there are uh, organization like coc uh, maastricht coc endoven coc neymehen coc amsterdam um, many others and also out and cloud african lgbti uh, which has helped in very much in moral and physical support have made friends um life is okay in netherlands and uh at the beginning i talked about uh east or west home is the best uh, but i think yeah netherlands i found a home so it's my home i feel netherlands my home i feel safe for netherlands thank you very much uh, lawrence at the beginning of the year, the whole world was faced with the challenge, challenges of um, coronavirus pandemic. And uh, 
the most vulnerable groups who are highly affected, especially the LGBT community. On um, this program, we've had a series of um, inspiring stories of how people coped. How did you survive the pandemic? How was it in the Netherlands? Uh, thank you, Lanre, for that question. Uh, you're right. Uh, here in Netherlands, COVID-19 has, be, has been a disaster to many of my friends. And uh, it came with uh, it came with the lockdown that meant uh, no socializing, uh, no visiting friends. Um, to a person like me who went through inhuman degrading in my country, Uganda, all I could get uh, walking around, uh, having, getting engaged in social talks and like the mm, social talks like the out and proud African LGBT Zoom meeting, so which has really helped and supported uh, good friends. Uh, we shared stories, and uh, right now, uh, lockdown is easing and life is coming back to normal. Yeah, thank you very much, Lawrence, for your stories this afternoon. Our viewers most definitely have enjoyed it. One message do you have for people back home in Uganda, those in the LGBT community, and all those who feel that being gay, you are a sinner, or being gay, you end up in hellfire? Uh, what I would like to tell Ugandans who think that, that homosexuality, who think or believe that homosexuality is evil, uh, sit down and think what has the gay people done wrong to you which affects your day to day life. Uh, if the direct energy you put to persecute uh, gay people, you use it to corrupt leaders, uh, by the way, who use issues of LGBTI issues to distract you from the things that affect you personally such as schools uh, hospitals uh, poor roads uh, uh, poverty so I think you would have used your energy effectively uh, I'm not requesting you to love us all like like me uh, but but rather to tolerate us um, what should know that you can't get rid of lead of uh, homosexuality uh, homosexuality while they are before you were born and you're going to die and then leave it so and homosexuality is not contagious like the COVID-19 that if, if I sit with you that it will catch you, no? But better focus on things that matter and then leave things and leave things which don't matter. So what should you know that for us we exist? Thank you very much, Lawrence. It's been nice talking to you this afternoon. We wish you the very best of luck. This is the Out and Proud African LGBT YouTube channel. Please watch, share, comment and subscribe to all our viewers in the Netherlands, United Kingdom, Africa, Europe and America. We say very thank you. Continue watching. Stay blessed. Bye.